Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started color grading Canon Log or C Log by making a few simple adjustments to the exposure of your footage. Let's go. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person and if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. All right, I remember last year when I made my first video, which you can see here about color grading Canon Log, I was learning and it's okay to learn. It's okay to start somewhere and move forward. Uh, we're all human, we're all on this learning journey together. It, I think it's one of my most disliked videos and it's because I took a very rudimentary approach to color grading Canon Log or C-Log. I actually feel myself blushing, I'm kind of embarrassed. I basically color graded by adding a LUT, which is a way to do it. And it was a good way to get started. But now that I know the, the three simple steps to the basic adjustments of exposure, I'm very confident that I can color grade Canon Log and I can do it within seconds, less than a minute. So the first thing you have to do is you have to pull your shadows down. So Canon Log is a flat profile and you're gonna reduce your shadows. Next thing is you're gonna bump your highlights up. So you're basically stretching the dynamic range, all that good quality um, that's in that footage, you're gonna stretch the what's darkest and what's lightest away from each other. And then you're gonna grab the mid-tones and you're gonna pull them down. I'm gonna show you how to do that and it's pretty easy. Let's get started. All right, so today we're gonna color grade a clip for exposure only with the shadows, highlights, and mid-tones. So let's jump into Final Cut Pro. All right, so I have here Final Cut Pro open. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drag this clip into the timeline. Okay, now just for the sake of this, I'm gonna turn the audio off. You can see it's me sitting in front of the camera talking like I do, like I do. I like to do that. Sitting in front of the camera talking, imagine. I'm gonna show you what you're probably gonna see. You're probably gonna see an expector window right here, you can see my face and the big uh, footage. You normally have this uh, inspector window on the right set to the video inspector, but you also have a color inspector, you have an audio inspector, and you have an info tab that shows you your uh, project uh, dimensions, um, the frame rate, etc. So right next to the video tab is the color inspector. So what we're gonna do is take a look. There's three tabs, color, saturation, and exposure. Exposure is the one we're going to work on right now and what we're going to do is we're going to first work on the shadows But there's a great tool in here that we need to utilize and you find it by going to view right above your video preview screen and Show video scopes. Um, it also says command 7 never saw that shortcut. So I'm gonna go command 7 video scopes pop up voila we have something beautiful to look at right here we see a zero and you kind of see there's nothing down here by zero. And then it goes up to 100, 120. We can see there's nothing in the top range. The flat profile of Canon Log or C-Log, you can see in a graphical form, it's kind of squeezed all the data into the middle. And so what we want to do is move that and stretch it. So I'm going to go to the left. Well, there's a, there's a master slider for adjusting the exposure. And then there's uh, uh, left, middle, and right, or uh, shadows, midtones, and highlights. And I'm gonna go to the shadows tab. I'm gonna pull down. And as I'm pulling down, I'm watching the video scope. And I wanna approach zero. And you can actually see in the accompanying preview panel, it's getting darker. The, the darks are getting darker and more rich. And so um, I'm gonna pull that down towards zero. But I'm not gonna hit zero, I'm not gonna touch zero because then we start to lose data. I'm gonna move to the highlights uh, button or control and I'm gonna move that up. Now we can see these are stretching up towards the upper reaches. I'm gonna stop before I hit 100. And then I'm gonna grab the midtones and I'm gonna slide that down. And you can see it's bringing the uh, midtones uh, down. So it's kind of uh, making the footage darker. All right, that's the basics. Bring the shadows down, stretch the highlights, bring the midtones down with respect to zero and 100 as your absolute values that you don't wanna uh, cross. Now, I think the footage looks kinda cold. We're gonna go into color temperature and warming up footage and getting more into the actual color controls 
in the next video. All right, thank you for joining me. Hopefully you found this was helpful. Thank you for joining me. Um, if you like this video, give it a like. Leave me a comment. What are your um, tips for adjusting exposure in Canon Log or C-Log? Um, and subscribe. If you're here for the first time, subscribe to the channel and I'm gonna make more great content like this for you. Peace.